Good afternoon. This is Lady P3. I'm on my lunch break. Just had a wonderful lunch. Had a nice salad from Publix. Um, just want to jump on briefly um, to say this. Have you ever had a dream or vision or goal that God has laid upon your heart? Pressed it upon your heart, your subconscious mind. And um, you talked yourself right out of it because of fear. And because you were afraid of what other people thought or what other people think. And you looked around, see who was looking, and you valued their opinion even more. Well, that was me. Uh, I had a lot of fear factors in my life. Health challenges, situation that came up. And I was afraid to really show up for me for a change. I was trying to make sure everything was perfect and, and done it right and want to get it right. But a good dear friend of mine say, you got to move past the fear. And sometimes, have you ever tried so many things and seen like nothing worked? And of course, people say, well, maybe that's not God's will for your life. And we'll take that. And then we'll go ahead on because we talk to ourselves and we allow other people to talk us right out of where we need to be. But I'm saying it to somebody today. Maybe God has given you a dream or vision. Told you to start a business. Told you to go back to school. Or put the desire, not say told, but put the desire in your heart to go forth with your passion. And a lot of times it's not easy to do that because of the fear factor. I was so afraid of showing up to be me. I was trying to wait till everything become perfect. And I thought about what my daughter say. You gonna have people that are taught and say yes, and you gonna have people that are say no. And you gonna be, and a pastor said this, he said, you damn if you do and you damn if you don't. In other words, a pastor, a bishop said that. You damn if you do and you damn if you don't. So sometimes people will talk you right out of where you need to be because they are afraid of taking chances in life. I always, I always say this, and my sons always say this, scared money don't make money. Life is about taking risks. Take a risk on yourself. Envision you different. Envision yourself a whole different angle of the room. What would your life look like if you can have the money, the dream, and everything you want to help the ministry, whatever your desire is, that you can do. But a lot of times, we won't do it. Why? Because we are so afraid of what other people will say about us if we just step up and step out. Sometimes you got to leave people alone. Sometimes you got to move in silence. And sometimes you can't share everything to everybody. That's why the scripture says, don't let your left hand know what your other hand do. Vice versa. Sometimes it's best to walk softly, tread lightly. And let people see. When time to see it, they will see it. How I know they will see it? Because you will be it. So know from this day forward, Step up, step out, and know that you already have everything you need to be great. Envision you different. Envision your life the way you want it. Envision you. Be blessed. This is Lady P3 on my lunch break. Sounding off. Bye-bye.